It's from 1989, and uh, I paid, I think, like a dollar for it or something. It came with the shade, too. The shade is, you know, you can't go wrong with shades because shades are becoming very expensive. But anyway, this, I took it because I had this lamp on my dresser, and it was really kind of big for the dresser. So I thought this real, I found this really nice little dainty one that's not in the way. And I just like the color of it overall. So it's a nice little, uh, you know, nice little find. And it works. It's a cute little thing. And here it is with the shade on. So I just thought it, you know, really, really cute and dainty. It's only small, so that's what I like about it. So anyway, that's my little lamp I found. You can't go wrong with a cute little lamp, you know. I got lamps upon lamps, but um, I didn't, uh, you know, I'm trying to get rid of those lamps, so get rid of the bigger lamps. I, I got I got uh, rid of a lot of them, but I still got a couple sets of lamps that I don't need. I'm trying to give away, you know, get rid of. One of these days I will. I put a lot out the front and got rid of them, so that was a good thing. So anyway, that's my little... Uh, little uh, aqua lamp then I found this on my travels while I was out I was only out uh, one day this week I only went out on uh, on seniors day and I haven't been in any other store since trying to cut down on the you know buying stuff so you know trying to go less to the stores I don't sell a large amount of stuff but you know a little bit I do uh, do sell is okay with me. So anyway, I thought this was a really nice find. Now, I don't know. Um, the only thing about it, it is nice. It's in excellent condition, and it looks good. And I've never, I, I did see one out on my travels before. Not this one, but the uh, other pieces of these, uh, you know, which I should have picked up, and I didn't, you know. I was sorry that I didn't pick it up. And then when I did finally decide, like I always say, should take it when you see it. And I did decide to go back and get it. And it was gone. You know, what else is new? But anyway, this is uh, one of those bo bows or bows, B-O-S-E, uh, players, CD player. <clears throat> so I found this. And I did debate a little bit about, you know, buying it. And I thought, okay, if I don't take it, going to be another one of those oh my gosh I should have took it but the only thing about this it it does work there is a tape there's a CD in it that just came out this was in it when I got it some kind of it's called you're an angel and it's Madeline you're an angel to our special little girl hugs and kisses love mom and dad now I don't know if that was specially made but that uh, that was in there I don't know what it is I don't know what, how it sounds or anything but anyway this is a Bose and uh, B-O-S-E, one of those really nice, uh, you know, players that is supposed to sound like an orchestra or something when it plays and it's nice soft music. Um, 
The only thing about it doesn't have, I'm, I'm pretty sure it comes with a remote, doesn't have a remote, but I did look online and you can buy remotes for these, so we're going to um, see if we can uh, locate a remote for this. And um, so I took it as is, without the remote. Um, it's in excellent condition. So, you know, it does turn on because, I mean, the CD comes out and, uh, you know, you can see the the time on it says 11, 11.21. So, there is a clock in it. And it has the cord and everything with it. It's the cord. And it does take some other, you can plug some other things in the back of it. But it didn't come with anything else, so we're going to try to locate the, the uh, a remote for it. And I did pay, um, I paid $10 for it, which I didn't think was, you know, bad. Rather I keep it or sell it or whatever I do with it, you know, you can't go wrong. I mean, it was only $10, so, you know, so I took a chance on it. And hope and pray, hopefully that, uh, you know... I can get it, uh, can find a remote and get it working. So, I thought that was, uh, you know, not bad for that. There might be somebody that, uh, that's looking for one of these, you know. I'd have to, if I don't have a remote, I have to sell it as is without a remote. So, you know, it's not a bad deal. And, um, so anyway, this is, uh, my Bose, the first one I ever bought in my life. I've seen them. I always wanted to get one for myself, and I always was going to buy one, but I never did. And, um, so, you know, if I don't get this one up and running, if I can't find a remote for it, I might just, you know, one of these days buy myself one. But anyway, so that's the, uh, that's this gadget. So hopefully I will, um, you know, we'll be able to have some luck in finding a, a remote for it. That's the only thing about, you know, a lot of the older machines, if they did have remotes, you know, and they don't come with the remote, it's hard to sometimes locate a remote for it, and one that works. So you have to make sure you're getting one that even works. This is just a couple belts I found. thought they were really nice. This one's really colorful. So it's really a nice colorful belt. It says size, it says 34 on it, so I'm thinking that's a size 34, even though it doesn't seem that large to me, but it could be a 34. It does say it on here. But I really thought the colors and the way it's made is really nice. Um, it doesn't have any other writing on it. It doesn't say anything else about it. But uh, it's in excellent condition, really, really good condition. So that's a, you know, a little belt I found, and I thought I'd take it. <clears throat> and here's the other one I found. <clears throat> this uh, this um, says genuine leather on it. And it has the, the metal buckle, and it has the, uh, the leather buckle. Then this one says genuine this is made in, um, this is made in Guatemala, and it says, um, yeah, it's genuine leather, and it, this is a, it's a um, medium to a large. So this one's a medium to a large, and this one is also in excellent condition. A little bit of, I think that's just, I don't know what that is. It's like paint or a little bit of paint spots or something on it, but it comes off, whatever that is. And um, so I just thought this was a really nice belt. I like the way it, it's uh, like the roped. It's like it's roped, weave. Or twist it, uh, you know. But it's leather, and this one is really nice. And this says medium to large. So this one probably is more like, I guess anybody could wear it according to what, what size belt. Some people like wide belts, some like the skinnier belts, you know, the slimmer belts. So this one's a more slim belt. This one's the wider belt, but they're two nice, um, 
two nice belts. So sometimes you really can't go wrong with belts. So those two, you know, for someone that uh, is into belts, two nice belts. I used to like belts when I was in my younger years, but I found as the years went by, I couldn't wear belts no more. I don't know, they just didn't suit me right, so I didn't bother wearing them anymore. But I like them, but I see really nice belts when I'm out on my travels. But. And I thought this little, uh, thought this little canoe, this little, it's so cute, and the colors are nice on it. It's a cute little uh, boat. And apparently they were fishing. They found they caught three fish. There's three fish hanging from it. It's just a cute little um, object. It's not. It's not wood. Feels like wood, but I'm pretty sure it's just hard resin or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just hard resin, but it's really nice, colorful, and there's no. No markings or anything on it. No names who made it. And this part here, this uh, this design here on the the loopy thing is uh, is metal. But the rest, I thought it was wood at first, and then the closer I examined it, I'm pretty sure it's not wood. I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty sure it's resin. Even though it seems like wood, ceramic. A ceramic or resin but it's just a cute little um cute little boat canoe that's the bottom of it it's just a decor piece you know nice for a guy for his man cave you know no one likes to decorate with this type of style i just thought it was a cute piece to pick up and it didn't cost that much you know so you can't go wrong with a lot of these pieces. This here is just a little Christmas item. This is, uh, these are those, um, found these, two of them in the box. These are those candle huggers. I think the candles would have to be a little small, but these are the, the uh, cute little tool, cute little candle huggers. And they're in great shape, great condition. They're just so cute. Come in their little box. And here it is here, little candle huggers. The box is a, a the box is a um a bit messed up here. Oh, some of the stuff is off, but what else is new when they put those stickers on them? What happens? That's what happens. So these are so cute little you don't have to use them on candles, you can just use them, you know, for decor pieces for Christmas. Those are two little, two little uh, candle huggers. Which are really, um, yeah, these are ceramic. They're, um, these ones are the, the set of mice. You can get the set of snowman and the, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, but these ones are the mice. So these are the set of mice. It's called Robert Allen Candle Company. And it says uh, they were made in Taiwan. <coughs> these were made in Taiwan. <coughs> and I found this. I don't know if I, I might have showed this in my last video, but I wasn't sure it was still sat here with the other things up. This is a cute little plush, um, plush pumpkin. Cute little face on it. It's got the red eyes, and I've never seen a pumpkin like this before, but it's cute. This one is, a uh, paid a dollar for it. This one says 1998 Marvel. It's, a. Uh, Whole Goblin, uh, whole Goblin Screaming Throw Pumpkin Bean Bag. It's a, you can throw it, it's like a bean bag. This is cute, that's a really cute little, uh, face on it. 
That's a cute little uh, collector's item. Never saw one of those before. This is just so cute. I just took it because, it's, you know, sometimes you need a little light somewhere or just a little space where you might just want to put a little, a little, uh, you know, decoration. And this is not real, so it's uh, easy to care for. I saw another one the other day. I should have took it. I was looking at it, and then I got to looking at something else. Forgot about it. But anyway, this one does its little pink flowers. It lights up. Yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I don't know where they come from. I'm not sure if they come from the dollar stores or where they come from. I just thought it was a cute piece. I didn't see it before, so I took it for a little dark space. I want to set it in when I need to turn on a little. I know it's not going to give out that much light, but it's a cute little piece. So that's cute. Cute little uh, cute little uh, flower pot with pink flowers. And I found these. These are some. Uh, these are just some some Halloween pencils. I found them in the case. Really, it would have been sixty, I think, in it, but uh, there's still some left in this. I think I paid like fifty cents or something for them, so I took them. And get them out. Okay, about 50 cents for these. Let's see if I can get them out of here. A little eraser, too. Well, anyway, some of them were already sharpened. There's a few that aren't sharpened, but they're cute. Cute little Halloween pencils with erasers. And a little pumpkin eraser. So there's 16 pencils, 16 of them. So some are sharpened and there's two that aren't. And these were made in, um, well on the, on the package it says, uh, They're made in the USA. Anyway, they're uh, just some Halloween pencils. I mean, it's probably too late now for anyone that, you know, for these Halloween pencils, but there's always next year. There's always next year. So that's just some Halloween stuff that I'm going to put away. I'll put them away for the next time. Then I got, uh, I found this little Christmas thing. I'm, I, this, I'm showing a variety of stuff. I, you know, anything goes, you know what I mean? I'm not just going to show for the fall. I'm showing everything. Anything I pick up, I'm going to show, you know what I mean? This little, this is a little ornament. It's in this box. And it looks to be a little lamb with a, almost like a horseshoe, uh, design on it. But it says, um, the ornament is made of a special material modified by skilled artists and dipped in gold. It presents the luck and can bring endless joy and happiness. This, the ornament is for decoration only and not suitable for children under eight years old. And this is made in Taiwan. So it's just a little, uh, just a little um, decor piece, I guess. I, couldn't, I don't even know if it comes off of this, this piece of... Uh, I don't know if it comes off of this. I couldn't get it off. I think it probably does if you pull it hard enough, but I didn't take it off. So I'm still on stuck on this, this panel thing. And it looks vintage, you know, with this. But it's, it's a cute little uh, thing. It says dipped in gold. So I don't know. Why, what, are these things dipped in gold? But this is um like a, like a, like a resin, like a hard plastic, the little um, lamb, it's a uh, sheep or whatever you call it. Sheep, yeah, I think it's like a sheep. Yeah, it's a sheep. I don't know what I said, lamb? Sheep? That's well, basically almost the same thing, isn't it? I don't think it is the same thing. 
This look is a sheath and it's cute. It's white and black with an orange um, decor piece on it. A design on it. So that was cute for uh, whatever I paid for it. Probably wasn't hardly nothing. Maybe 25 cents or something like that. So that's that. Then I got this. I picked up this. I think this. Uh, I just thought it, you know, they're cute and they make you smile. The happy face. It's a pretty, you know, the bright yellow. You can't go wrong. So there's no, uh, there's no maker's marks or anything on it. But anyway, that's just a, a beautiful little uh, happy face uh, cup mug. It's big too, and you know, got weight to it. It's not light. And I got, um, found, no, I had this for, I, I found, I had this, it's just a, a nice little bottle. Don't know where, where it ever came from, but I like the color of it. And it, uh, it's got some, uh, you know, flower decorations on it, floral, up here and on the both sides. And it's glass. Glass, this this thing here has just a little chip of the glass out of it, but you wouldn't notice it when it's on the thing. So it's just a cute little, uh, you know, decorative or, or decor or collector's uh, bottle. There's no writing or anything. There's nothing else on it. No maker's marks or anything. It only says um, caution, uh, caution or something. Do not put by fire or something. But other than that, there's no maker's marks or anything. I just thought it was a pretty, uh, you know, pretty bottle. It's like in uh, trying to find the right color. It's not, it's, uh, you know, like an amethyst color or something. That's what it is, like amethyst. I just thought that's cute, uh, cute little, you know, bottle for your bathroom or your dresser or you know, just a collector's or decor piece for someone that collects bottles. So that's like an amethyst or, you know, color. And I got, uh, I just thought these were the cutest little things. They're only little cheap things. I forgot to take the price out. They're only 49 cents. They're only 49 cents anyway, so... Show you in one second because this will this gets in the way these stickers on here. So anyway, these are what what they are. It's a uh, cute little uh, little frames, cute little picture frames. I just thought they were so cute. It's almost like vinyl on here. You can wipe clean the cloth or no, I think it's like a, a vinyl cloth or something, some type of material that you can wipe clean. You can wipe them clean. Yeah, no, I haven't been out that much this week. I went out on Tuesday and that was it. And then the last week, Maybe last week one day I might have yeah I think last week was on Tuesday too I just seemed to be going out on seniors day but anyway these are two little I thought two little cute uh, picture frames and on the back it says they're from 2006 and they're from PetSmart and they're made in China it says store support group you know but I just thought they're really cute and they say seasons greetings on them they're Christmas so you put your little pet uh, picture in them, or you and your pet, or you know whatever kind of picture you like to put in them. But I just thought they're so cute. And here's the back of them. So these were really, you know, forty nine cents, and they're only small. But I just thought they were just the cutest things. They got uh, their Christmas and they have a little gingerbread man on them. And, you know, some little decorations. So, can't go wrong with them. You know, if somebody likes little 
decorative uh, picture frames. Little decorative picture frames. Then I found this uh, this um, jar, which I thought was really nice and colorful. It's a beautiful glass, beautiful glass, white frosted um, jar with its lid. With its lid. And it's got all the floral, the pretty floral on it, and it's got butterflies around it. The inside and it's in this is in excellent condition there's no chips or cracks or um, you know even on the around the rims and stuff there's nothing but the only thing about this uh, this um, jar it just doesn't set even it looks like it's uh when it was made the bottom wasn't made even and so it kind of rocks a little because it's not really, uh, it's not really even here. You can look at it and see that it's, uh, it's off. It's off balance. The uh, whoever made it, they, you know, didn't didn't uh, didn't do the bottom of it really level. So anyway, but still, overall, it's a very nice piece. Beautiful little storage container, you know, glass. You look you've on a dresser in the bathroom or you know on on a glass shelf or anything it's really nice the colors are beautiful I thought that was really nice so that's why you hear the lid move it you know a little bit because the bottom of it is not um, it's not even but the piece is really nice I guess if you can find set it the right way I don't know maybe you can put a little thing under it but I just thought this was really, really nice. So I took it, you know, I thought it was nice. Then I found um, this, which I, this is heavy, but it's beautiful. It's like a marble, quartz or marble or something like that. Beautiful piece, really in excellent condition. It's, uh, it looks to be, uh, a soap dish. Well, it could be a bathroom soap dish or you know you could take it and use it for whatever you wanna. Well, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Big too, you know, it's a beautiful piece of um, art decor. And it, uh, the color on it is, uh, I was trying to figure out the color on this because it's got, you know how the quartz and the, the marble and stuff has all the different colors. It has a little little touch of really really light uh, blue and you've got uh, like um, almost reddish brown gray and then around the edges is you know like reddish uh, I don't know what sandy different colors but it's a beautiful piece So I think that's a, you know, you'd use it for any type of dish, but I'm pretty sure it's a soap dish, just the way the, uh, that it's made. I'm just going to, see how big this is. I never really measured it before. Let's find the, this is, uh, I'd say it's about, it's about uh, six inches Yeah, about six and a quarter inches uh, across, and this way it's about about five and a half inches, five and a half by six and a quarter inches. It's a really nice piece. I thought that was beautiful, and for anyone that collects this type of um, you know decor for their home, if you got a really nice you know classy bathroom, that would look really nice in it. That's nice. And I took that because I really liked it myself. If I had the space for it, I'd keep it, but I don't have the space, so I leave it. 
Then I've got um, about this. Thought it was just so cute. Well, I thought it was cute anyway. It's um, it's called uh, condiment server. It's condiment server. I mean, and it's um, why they put the sticker right over the information? Why? Please don't rip off information. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah. Barcodes off. Some of it's coming off. Yep. See, ruin the box. Just ruins the box. Okay. Um. Anyway, it's a uh, called peas in a pod condiment dishes. And I just thought it was really cute. It's um. It's made of. Uh... Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I've got this three in here, thinking there's two. I'm so sorry about that. I'm breaking up housekeeping. I'm sorry, buddy. Did that fall on your paws, huh? I'm sorry. Did that scare you? Did it scare you? Hmm? Did that scare you? So this is um, called Peas in a Pod. And it's a little, little condiment dish. I just thought it was really cute. This is made in, they're made in Taiwan. So this is made in Taiwan, is what it looks like. Type of material. No, it doesn't give you much information on here, but I mean, um, you can see that it's, you know, it's plastic. It's nice. I like the color. I think the color is really nice. That's a really cute little serving dish. You know, put, put some little nuts in, or you know, your little uh, dips. You have chip and dip, or some kind of dips or something, and you can dip your carrots or your celery in it. But they're really nice. Nice little uh, serving, uh, nice cute little serving dish. So that's peas in a pod. So that was two dollars for that, which I didn't think was really bad. But it's cute, you know, when you got kids, at least it's plastic and it's not going to break when they drop it. So that's a good thing. Get nervous of kids and glass. I don't like it. I see people give their kids, you know, small kids glasses, real glass and stuff, and it's like, oh my gosh, I would never, how could they do it? Kids are so rough, you know, just throw them glasses and stuff, you can break it, you know, dangerous really. But um, I thought these were, you know, it's, it's cute little fun. So it's, that's just a, you know, cute, cute, really cute. It's cute. And I found, um, found this little bag of, a little bag of, you know, uh, hors d'oeuvre uh, picks. And some of these, um, you know, those nice spreaders, which is, uh, some of them will go in the garbage because, you know, I don't think they're worthwhile doing anything with. You can use them to dig in your plants and stuff, or you can use these for other little things besides food. And these are, these are little uh, spoons which you can always use. And these are just the spreaders. Yeah, nothing special about them. 
But they were in the bag. Everything was in one bag, so I took them. These are just uh, some little spoons. You know, when you buy the container sometimes, they're missing their spoon. Well, these are really nice to have to put in the containers. And these say um, Port Port Marion. Port Marion or something like that. So there's six of these. So I just think they're really good to have for when you find the little dishes, the little containers, and they, they're missing their spoon. Well, these are good to go in them. Sometimes it's hard to find a little spoon to go in those dishes. Then there's these little, um, that was a little Christmas. Uh, one of them's broke. I'm going to leave those to in the garbage. This is a little uh, glass. Uh, I don't know what to use Borba's pointy on that end, a little Christmas tree on the other end. Then these are little um, Christmas uh, hors d'oeuvre picks. These are metal. And they've got the decorations at the top. This one is this decoration, like a wreath. This one's a, a saw, you know, a Christmas boot. And this one's an angel. This one's Christmas angel. And you got a Christmas skate and Christmas, oh, they're all different. And a Christmas skate or sleigh. No, that's a sleigh, Christmas sleigh. Christmas tree and Christmas bell. Oh, they're all different. I thought they were, these are really cute. These little uh, Christmas picks, or their picks, they're really nice. And they got stones all in them. They all have stones and really pretty. I don't know if you can really see them on the camera, but they're really pretty. They have stones and they're red and green stars on. You know, they're decorated really nice. So there are six of each. Beautiful. And the angel and the, the, the sock or the boot. They're beautiful. I didn't even really look at them. You know, I did take them out, but I never really looked. I didn't even realize there was one of each. I thought they were alike. I tell you, I don't look at stuff past the, half the time. But these are just, this is a wine bottle um, stopper. And these are just these little uh, spreaders. So, I don't know if anybody would even want those. This one has a has the uh, red cardinal on it. This has a, a snow, um, like a polar bear. It's like a polar bear, Christmas polar bear. And this one's a candy cane metal. This one's a Christmas tree metal. This one's a kind of decoration on it. It's a plastic at the top, resin. This one has a snowflake on the top of it. And this little one, I don't know what the, some kind of decoration, but it's not in the best shape. Nah. So anyway, these ones I will keep, but them ones I'll probably throw out. These ones I'll keep and the spoons. That's going up the garbage. But yeah, so uh, those I think they were a dollar ninety nine in the bag together. This bag of stuff. So I took it. I was curious as to what was in the bag. That's why I ended up taking the bag because you know when you're curious, it kills you if you don't know what's in that bag. That's what happens sometimes with those grab bags. You're so curious what else is in it. You can see some things, but you can't really see it. And um, then you're going, oh my gosh, should I buy it or shouldn't I? So you, that's what happens. Your curiosity gets the best of you, so you just got to buy it, you know, see what's left. So I found this, um, I found this beautiful little, uh, little hand stitch, cross stitch, whatever you call it, uh, pitcher. This is um, 
two birds and, and some floral, you know, in it. I paid three dollars for this. I just thought it's a cute little cross stitch. You know, someone took the time to do that, and it's really nice. Two little birds are, and they have gray heads, and they get the beaks and all that, and the different stuff. You know, it's just cute. And you can hang it up. It was nice for someone that's got a small space on their wall and they need to fill it in. This is a really nice, cute little picture. So that's that picture. Then I've got, um, now these, I wasn't sure that I show these in the last, I don't think I did, but I have four of these. I'm not sure if I showed these in the last, um, I paid 99 cents a piece for them. These are, uh, they're like dessert glasses or, you know, wine glasses or whatever you'd like to put in them. But, um, 99 cents a piece they were, and I like the frosted, I like the, the way they are, they go on the bottom. So they're frosted, clear here, frost on the bottom. And these are made in Italy. They are, um, yeah, these are made in Italy. So I have four of those. Which I picked up. I thought they really, you know, $4 for the, for the set. And they seem to be going for a good price, you know. I looked them up, and they seem to be, I had didn't see a lot of them, but I did find them, and they uh, seem to be going for a good price. They're really nice and different. I haven't seen them before, you know, if you got the space for them. And they're heavy. They're not light. They're just really nice. Sorry for my rattling my paper and everything. I'm going to be making a lot of noise here this morning. <laughs> Uh, well, that's okay. We'll get over it, won't we? But this is, uh, yeah, so I have four of these. Never did take the price off. I thought I took the price off of these. I, like I said, I bring them in the house half time. I don't look at stuff for a long time. A lot of times when I, I'll sit, settle down, sat down, they'll say, oh, let me take the things out and look at what I bought. A lot of times I never do it. And there's one more here somewhere. So these are, um, I might have showed these in the last video, I'm not sure, so I am showing them. If it is, I'm showing them again. But hopefully I didn't, because they were still sitting here with the things. I don't know, they weren't put away, and I didn't see the video, so I can't, I don't know half time what I showed and what I didn't. Oh my gosh. But it's okay. So anyway, there's four of these. And the only problem with just one of them, the first one I showed, where is it? Just this one. It has uh, just a little slight, a little slight uh, flaw right here on on the uh, on the frosted part, just on the one glass. So I'll make sure I make note of that. It's just on the one glass, it has a little flaw, a little bit of the frosting in one spot has come off right here just the one of them that's like that so if I'm ever out on my travels and I find any more of these I'll just replace it replace this one but um, you know you really have to look at it to really see the flaw I mean you have to really 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 look at it good to see it but it is there but anyway there's four of these and they're beautiful glasses they're just different to me, and um, they're made in uh, in Italy, so that's the four of those. And what else have I got in this? Um, I might have showed this stuff. This is just an old star I found. Sometimes these little stars, you know, you can hang them up, but you got to be careful because sometimes these stars mean different things. And I don't really know about putting these stars up. But anyway, I found I was going to hang it on the 
of yours on the, on this thing I got. But anyway, this is a metal uh this is a metal metal little star for outside. I don't really first time I really ever picked up a star and easy take those things. But I will take them. I think I might already show this stuff because pretty sure did I show the little purple shoe? little purple shoe I might have showed this this is grandma you share your wisdom endlessly you listen with your heart your wise advice is always filled with love that you impart and uh, so that's in the uh, in the little purple shoe which is really cute not glass it's I don't think this is glass I think it's resin Acrylic? Or it could be glass. I don't know. Let me see. This says uh, Purple Shoe Messengers. Um, it's from 2009. It says about face designs made in China. And it doesn't say if it's glass or it, it sounds like glass. Could be a little glass shoe. But is it really cute? It's purple and gold. Only a tiny little thing. Just a tiny little shoe. That's for grandma. And this is the little box that it came in. And then it has uh, that little saying with it. And then it has a little little uh, heart on the outside of the box. So this is from 2009. And this is um, this is just a little uh, set of coasters. These are from 1997. They're in the metal, little metal can. I have to clean all the glue off of these. This is from uh, 1997. And these are made in Hong Kong, and it says vendor says L. Here, here, hero. Well, well, so it seems like it's a Mexican name or something. I don't know. Anyway, here they are. The little, I know you've probably seen them before, dime a dozen, but they're so cute. The little kitties. There's a different one on each coaster. I got a other set one time. Isn't that cute? The one that look at in the fish tank. I have another set, but I think there was only five in that one. This one does have six. That's why I took this one, because it had the six in it. The other one, I think, had one missing, had five. But anyway, that's a set of coasters. <clears throat> and I don't know what this is. Oh, oh yeah, I took these because... I took these because a while back, I I, um, I thrifted a, a set of... Um, the core pieces and and now these are the other pieces that go with it like these are 49 cents I think each I don't know if they're 49 cents for the both or 49 cents each this one only has 49 cents on it but I thrifted um, some things some items uh, a while back and then the other, when I was out last week, I came across these and I thought they looked familiar. I was gonna, and then I realized those go to the, pretty sure they'll go to the set that I already thrifted. And these say, these say uh, 22 carat <clears throat> something Albertis or something, B E R T S C H or something like that, Canada. And then it says, oh, G dot something. 206 or maybe 06 I don't know but anyway they're they're um they're both signed on the back and they go to the uh to the other pieces that I thrifted hold on one second I'm gonna see if I should have brought those pieces out
here they are here. The pieces that I got a while back. I got this one. I'm pretty sure they're all made from the same place. This one is signed on back. It says LS Canada. Or, yeah. And then here's the bigger piece. And this one says same thing. Or LB. Probably LB, not LS. Yeah, LB. Yeah, yeah, they're the same because it has the same L. B E. It, this one says L, and then it says B E R T S C H. So they're all the same. Uh, they're all the same make. So this is the set. I got the bigger leaf, the bigger one, and then this one, and then these two candle holders. So that's good. But the, the only thing about this one candle holder has a little chip here up on it. This one has the chip on it. Probably could be fixed in some kind of way. Just a small little chip. You can't really notice it unless you're looking really close at it. And this one doesn't have any chips. This one's in, in a, you know, good condition. Well, anyway, that was a cute little uh, <clears throat> find. At least I... I found the rest of it. Could be more to that for all I know. I don't know. That's what I found. And then I've got, um, I don't know what's in these, ba in these packages. Oh, <coughs> I found these. I'm not sure if I showed them either the last time. But anyway, here they are again if I did. Two little cute little containers. I guess they could be like toothpick holders. They're both signed. They say Cancun, Mexico on them, on the back of them. So I just thought they're really cute. One's an amethyst color, purple, and the other one is green, and they're really cute. I thought they were really cute. I think they were 49 cents a piece, too, as I took them. But I just thought they were really, um, you know, really cute uh, decor pieces. You put toothpicks in them. You could put toothpicks in them. I don't know if you could stand, um, yeah, you could stand some pens in them and something too. You know, you get the longer toothpicks, so you just put some pens in them on your desk. I just thought they were really cute. And these are, um, they are signed on the bottom. I can't make it out. But there is a signature. You can't you can see it on the green better it's on this one but this one's it's so dark you can't really see it that well but anyway they're from Cancun Mexico so I just thought those were two little cute uh, two little cute um, things so anyway that's um, that's the end of this haul so I hope everybody enjoyed it and um, I appreciate it if you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and, um, um, you know, have yourself a good day, and yes, thank you, and we will come back and do this again. See ya!